to Travel in Chinese. My name is Mark Rosewell, also known as Dashan. In this series, we're learning language that's not exclusively used for traveling in China, but can be used in a wide variety of situations. You know, by learning a language, by definition, you learn a lot about the culture and civilization behind that language. And by improving your language abilities, you're sure to gain more from the time you spend traveling or living in a wonderful country like China. Well, today our travels are going to take us to the far western reaches of China. This is the area known as Xinjiang. Let's see what happens in today's dialogue. Grandma, 当年孙悟空去西天取金金木的就是这座山呢小杰啊那只是民间的传说而已这火焰山啊不是真的着火了是因为这里的石头本来就是红颜色的远远看去啊就和着火了一样所以才叫它火焰山的哎爸爸你看
This is a natural growing gourd that has traditionally been used for ornaments and as a vessel to hold liquids like medicinal concoctions. The Monkey King used one like this. Who says it's a fable? The Flaming Mountain gets its name, Deming, from Journey to the West, Xiyouji. Here we use the pattern Yin something, Er Deming, to be named after something. Jiu Shi adds emphasis to this. Jiu Shi Yin something, Er Deming, it does get its name from something.那只是民间的传说而已这火焰山啊不是真的着火了是因为这里的石头本来就是红颜色的远远看去啊就和着火了一样所以才叫它火焰山的哎爸爸你看这就是当年孙悟空用的葫芦吗哦谁说是传说火
abundant sunshine in the day with intense evaporation and thus very little precipitation. The flaming mountain in the middle of the Turpan Basin never fails to charm those who come to this mystical land. The highest peak is about 40 kilometers east of the city of Turpan and 832 meters above sea level. It was made very popular thanks to the classical novel The Journey to the West, Xi Ji, which is in effect an account of the adventures of the monkey king, Sun Wukong. According to the fable, it is said that the monkey king stirred up trouble in heaven and kicked over the oven in which the gods were making immortal pills. Burning charcoal fell from the sky to where the flaming mountain now lies. The flaming mountains are so hot and so dry that according to one saying, flying birds 500 meters away dare not come near. Under the blazing sun, the red rock glows and hot air curls up like smoke as though it were on fire, giving the flaming mountains their name. Now let's look at a few language points from today's dialogue. Xia, followed by a verb, indicates that the action is done blindly or pointlessly or it's useless. For example, 待在这儿很安全,你就别瞎想了. Here, xiaxiang means panic or to think crazy things, to lose control. It's very safe here. Don't lose control or don't panic. 待在这儿很安全,你就别瞎想了。now it's time to do some substitution exercises. Let's use the pattern adjective followed by s. Here s doesn't refer to death at all, it just means extremely. For example, 今天走了那么长时间的路,我都快累死了。We've walked so far today, I'm exhausted, I'm almost dying of exhaustion. 今天 Let's try some substitutions now with this adjective followed by 死。什么时候吃饭呢？我都要饿死了。什么时候吃饭啊？我都要饿死了。你的行李我可拿不动，重死了。你的行李我可拿不动，重死了。Here's another sentence pattern that will be useful for a substitution exercise. That's the pattern yin something er de ming to be named after or named for something. For example, ri yue tan yin hu shui de xing zhuang er de ming. The sun moon lake is named that way because of the shape of the lake. It's named after its shape. Ri yue tan yin hu shui de xing zhuang er de ming. Let's try a substitution now with yin something er de ming. 香山因山顶的石头而得名。香山因山顶的石头而得名。这条胡同的名字因附近的井水而得名。这条胡同的名字因附近的井水而得名。Although some people believe that Flaming Mountain got its name from the journey to the west, Yin Xiuji Er De Ming. Actually, it got its name from the way that when you look at it from far away, the rocks look as if they're on fire. Yuan Yuan Kan Chu, Chu Xiang Zhao Huo Li Yang. Well, that's all the time we have for today. But we'll see you here next time on Traveling Chinese. Thank you.